This is a demonstration of the Project Accounting Timesheet Recalculation Utility. This utility is helpful for companies that use Microsoft Dynamics GP Project Accounting Timesheets for salaried employees. In cases where employees work more hours or fewer hours than a standard 40-hour week, the utility will adjust the unit costs on the employee's timesheet so that the employee's project timesheet costs will match the employee's payroll costs. Let's start by reviewing an employee named Sally. In Sally's project settings, you can see that Sally is set up with an hourly cost of $97.57. I have also set up user-defined one field to record what I call the employee's periodic pay, which is the amount the employee receives on each payroll check. In this case, the amount is equal to the hourly cost times 80 hours. Note that this employee is also set up with a 74% overhead rate. The Timesheet Recalc Utility can recalculate timesheets with either an amount or percentage overhead rate. Now that we've reviewed the employee's project settings, let's review a timesheet for the employee. This is Sally's Project Accounting Timesheet for a two-week period, as imported through PDK and each line uses the default unit cost of $97.57. Note that because she worked 94 hours during this period, the total cost reflected on the timesheet is $15,958. If we look at the distributions, we see that her employee costs equal $9,171, and the two credits to overhead reflect her 74% overhead rate. Note that your distributions will likely look different than these depending on how you have configured project accounting for your company. Ideally, we would like the total cost of this timesheet to correspond to Sally's periodic pay so that the project costs accurately reflect her cost as an employee. Next, let's take a look at a timesheet for Tom. Tom worked less than 80 hours for the period. In this case, the $71 default unit cost is actually too low, as the 72 hours on the timesheet will not produce a total cost that matches his payroll amount. Now that we've reviewed the default timesheet information, let's open the timesheet batch entry window. You see that there are a total of 26 timesheets in this batch, with a total of $224,228.64. From the batch window, if I click on the additional menu, there is a menu option to recalculate batch. This is the menu that is provided by the Timesheet Recalc Utility. When I select the menu item, the Recalc Utility will recalculate the unit cost for all employee timesheets in the batch and will also update all of the timesheet distributions. When the process completes, the utility confirms the number of timesheets and distributions that have been adjusted. Note that the batch total has changed and is now $222,840.54. And if we look at the timesheets, we'll see that the unit costs have been adjusted so that the total costs match the employee's pay plus overhead. If we view the distributions, we can confirm the calculation of the employee's costs are correct as well as the overhead expenses. In this case, the $7,805 for Sally's timesheet matches the $7,805 specified in the period pay field in the employee project record. And if we look at Tom's timesheet, Notice that the $71 unit cost has been increased because he worked less than 80 hours for the period. Next, the Recalc Utility allows you to recalculate a single timesheet in addition to an entire batch. I'll adjust the unit cost on a few lines to demonstrate. And I'll update the distributions as well. Next. I'll select Recalculate Timesheet from the additional menu. The one timesheet was adjusted, and you see that the unit cost returns to $83.04.
That was a demonstration of recalculating timesheets where all of the employee's time for the pay period is contained on one project timesheet. But what about situations where employees must submit multiple timesheets during the pay period? Let's assume that Sally is working on two different projects at the same time, and each of those projects has a separate project manager that must approve her timesheet on a daily basis. Because Dynamics GP PDK only allows the timesheets to be approved by a single manager and single supervisor, Sally must submit a separate timesheet for each project, which means two timesheets per day. This will allow her timesheets to be routed for approval to the two different project managers. But because the timesheets are saved in multiple batches, I can't recalculate the timesheets by batch. To accommodate this business process, the timesheet recalc utility also allows you to recalculate timesheets by employee for a given pay period. On the timesheet batch entry window, there is a menu option to recalculate employee timesheets. This opens a new window that allows you to specify the start date and end date for the pay period you wish to recalculate. I'm going to set the dates to December 1st and December 15th, and then click on the Load Employees button. The utility shows the employees that have timesheets for this pay period and shows how many timesheets have been approved and submitted for each employee. In this case, not all of Tom's timesheets have been approved, but Sally has all 22 of her timesheets approved and transferred to GP. I simply check the box for Sally and then click on the Recalculate button. The utility then recalculates all 22 timesheets so that in total they match Sally's periodic pay. If we look at one of Sally's timesheets, we see that the unit cost has been updated so that the combined cost of all of her timesheets for the period equals her periodic pay with overhead. And this concludes the demonstration of the Project Accounting Timesheet Recalc Utility. For more information, please click on the Contact Us link in the About section of our website.